All right, my little space cadets. Hope the week is treating you fairly well. Uh, here's the uh, the old game plan here. So I've decided most certainly going with the vintage 60s jet dragster oil tank here. Well, it was a catch can. Uh, we're going to use it <clears throat> as an oil tank. So I'm going to take out those two little oil tanks. You know, I got those <clears throat> thinking I might use them, but uh, it's going to require a little extra plumbing uh, going. You know, both tanks have to kind of drain into each other and then get siphoned out by the pump and blah, blah, blah. We're not going to do that. We're just going to kind of do like the original tank just uh, from the turbo uh, to the return here. And then we've got a source going out. This will, this will go back to uh, the cooler, filter, and then to the pump. So, uh, back to this, we gotta take these tanks out. I want to leave maybe the brackets that I've installed and maybe just get uh, two uh, saddle clamps maybe. Uh, might be the best way to mount this in there. We will cross that bridge when we get there. Um, meanwhile, this little guy. So this is a dash 12 uh, AN fitting and I believe the fitting I have coming out of the, the oil return is a dash 10. So we're gonna have to pop that guy out, swap her out for this guy, three quarter to a dash 12. And unfortunately the hose that I had for the oil return uh, this was a dash 10, so we're going to need a bigger hose. Uh, something I've never had told to me before, but nonetheless. Uh, we'll get a larger dash 12 hose. i got to take some measurements. Once we get the tank kind of where we want it, take a measurement between this fitting and the return, figure out uh, how long that needs to be. And we will take our TIG wire and we will start uh, kind of figuring out where I'm going to root route. I'm going to route the oil line. So I got to make a line. It will come out, probably snake under the axle, take a little righty tighty, then another little lefty loosey, and it'll go all the way up and uh, join. It'll join to that little flare there. That'll go to the oil cooler, then back to filter, and then to the pump. That is our game plan. Um, I ran into some electrical issues the other day. I ended up taking that whole gauge pot off. I uh, went back through all the electric, electrical, dig, digital, electrical stuff. Everything's working fine. I tested the ignition. I could hear it popping off in there. Um, once I get the pumps plugged back in, we can test the pumps, but I have power, everything should work. Uh, so we should be up and running probably in the next, I don't know, I'd say, ideally I want to say like a week from now, but you know, once I f try to figure out what clamps I'm going to need or saddle mount maybe to get this tank fitted where this tank is. Uh, you know, it might take a couple of days for that clamp to come in. It'll only take me about a day to get it fitted in there. But that's where we are. All right, catch y'all later. All right, so uh, problem. Uh, I went ahead and I took the uh, turbo blanket off so I could uh, kind of get some eyes and fingers on the uh, fitting that is the drain that little guy so that's actually the new fitting that's the dash 12 but the problem is it is right up against uh, that piece of angle that uh, makes up the uh, the engine mount uh, 
Yeah, so I may have to take the turbo off. And that'll give me, you know, I can finish snugging that fitting in there. Uh, or another alternative is maybe just put the dash 10 um, back in and um, we could use the dash 10 hose and put a an adapter fitting uh, so this would be like a dash 12 down to a 10 which will still work um, and I can I can get that fitting probably shoot tomorrow it only yeah overnight shipping with Amazon if it's available worst case it'd be a couple of days but uh yeah so there's that problem i may just take that dash 12 back out and we'll just get the adapter and just call it a day we'll use the old hose that'll be fine all right i'm gonna press on i'm gonna try to take these tanks out i'll have to put the brackets the whole thing has to come out as one and then uh i'll put the brackets back in and then we'll get this tank sized up all right problem number 50 1100 uh, got the two small tanks out as you can see uh, i had to take the brackets out to get one of those tanks out uh, put the brackets back in and now we have some possible fitment issues so the idea is I kind of wanted to get the tank centered in there, being as how it's heavy as all hell. Uh, let me see if I grab my handy dandy Chinese made tapey measure. Got about four and a half. Yeah. So that's the has to maybe come over yonder smidge. Calculating. Calculating another little smidge. Calculating uh, about three and three quarter. Um, close enough. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, these brackets are going to have to move over that way if we decide to keep these brackets. Um, problem, uh, so the tank's going to have to, I'd like to have the tank maybe suspended up, it's sitting on the frame right down in there, uh, although, <laughs> keeping it kind of cattywampus like this, all the oil will go out to the outlet, but, uh, I was really hoping to kind of send the oil line up this way. But it looks like I might have to come out and possibly run it down the side of the frame here. Uh, not really uh, liking that spice there. I don't know. Uh, and ideally, I'm going to have to clock the tank. Probably just make this level. And that will spin this. Uh, this will be the oil return uh, back to the tank. But it, this point here has to be lower than uh, that fitting I showed you guys earlier up under the, the, re uh, the return for the uh, oil from the turbo. Uh, it's got to be gravity fed with little to no resistance uh, back into the tank here. I don't know. Calculating. Calculating. Anyway, I noticed a nice little oil leak or something going on. What is that? Yeah, it's got a little, little analyzing. Analyzing. Yep, yeah, it's diesel. There's a little ambiance of gasoline in there. Anyway, 
Uh, moving on. All right. Well, I'm at a good uh, stopping point for tonight. Um, I was able to just set the tank in there, kind of get it, you know, it's kind of sort of where it's going to go. Um, and I took my TIG wire and I went ahead and kind of bent it uh, to kind of map out where the, uh, the oil line uh, will go. So in this case, this will be coming out of the tank, comes up. It's, I'm just going to hug the frame on the outside. That way I don't really have any interference here with the rear brake. You know, oil, brakes, yeah. So anyway, I will come up. Uh, up to like where the front of the brake caliper is and we'll hang a righty tighty we'll kind of hug uh, that frame there and you know I could use the frame as a means of uh, securing the line from moving around uh, and then it goes over it's kind of a shitty bend but it'll make another uh, 90 degree uh, bend heading towards the front where it'll meet here this hopefully will be all one tube uh snaking it in there might be kind of a trick we'll see i can always uh make a uh, two tubes if i need to i think i still have plenty of uh, fittings left but uh anyway it goes up snakes around the seat the oil filter and then i gotta make a, a quick little lefty and a righty so it'll uh, it'll uh, meet up with that little blue fitting sitting there, and that will, for the most part, complete the oil system. All that is left would be uh, an oil return. So uh, what I've got here, I've got the oil pump. Oil will come out. This will be pressurized. This is my. Uh, oil on my pickup for the oil pressure gauge um, I'm gonna come over that's all loose getting ready to fall off on the highway anyway um, this guy is going is a uh, it's basically a hydraulic brake switch um, it should um, when pressure is applied above 45 psi it will close the circuit so I can actually run the fuel pump you know run power through this or power my fuel pump hopefully maybe I gotta check I didn't check uh, what the current rating was for this it may not be enough uh, to run the pump directly off of it however I could send some wires from the relays uh, just use that just as a switch as it's intended but anyway back to the diagram here uh, pressurized oil comes through and heads into the turbo this is just a return this will regulate my pressure and this goes back to the oil tank um, problem is I don't have any additional fittings on the tank to run the return to so I'm thinking what I could do is actually on the end of that little spigot uh, have a uh, put a T a T fitting on there so on one end of the T we'll go to that spigot uh, the branch that comes up will go to oil return and then the other branch will connect to this hose and I'm gonna make in theory, it works. Practicality is a whole nother thing, but uh, we'll see.